But the third phase and first round of the polio outbreak, reactive mass vaccination is underway in 179 districts in eight regions across the country. The exercise is to ensure that every child under the age of five is protected against the disease. So Paku joined the team, the Kotekwale, that's municipality of the Greater Accra region, and reports. Thirty polio cases have been recorded in 11 out of the 16 regions since the outbreak of the disease in July last year, after a decade of its eradication. This has been attributed to the low vaccination coverage and insanitary conditions. In the Kole Klote district, Tudu and the Tema Station areas have been classified as hot spots. 65 teams made up of a vaccinator, volunteer and social mobilizer are to meet a target of vaccinating 250 children under five years each day of the exercise. Some 32,499 children are expected to be vaccinated by the end of the exercise in the Kole Klote municipality. Kole Klote municipality have a projected population of 162,479. Out of this, we are targeting 20% of that population, that is children below five years. And I urge the general population to support this activity because the vaccine is free, it is effective, and it is safe. The Kole Klote Municipal Director of Health Services, Jennifer Ando, is optimistic the exercise will be successful as education has gone down well with caregivers. So I said there is low coverage. So with two to three rounds of this exercise, we should be able to kick polio out of this country. Some guardians were happy with the exercise. I entreat all parents to allow their children to be vaccinated. I'm impressed with the way they are doing the work. Some 4.5 million children under five years are expected to be vaccinated by the end of the exercise. Polio is a disease caused by the polio virus. The virus spreads from person to person and can infect a person's spinal cord, causing paralysis. It can also be transmitted through contaminated water and food. The polio mass vaccination exercise has begun in some 29 districts in the greater Accra region and seven other regions in the country. Every caregiver and guardian is expected to bring their wards out to be vaccinated when the team enters their homes. 